It's been a little over 30 days since I got the Catalyst EMS suit in. Working out every four to five days, 20 minutes of workout. Welcome back to Austin After 40. Let's get into the 30 day review. The suit essentially puts electro muscle stimulation pads against each of the major muscle groups in your upper and lower body. Because of the direct connection of these pads to the muscles, uh, they're able to flex and engage up to 90% of the muscle fibers versus 40 to 50% during a normal gym workout. This is because the brain's uh, signals to these muscles via neural pathways is less efficient than the pads being directly on those individual muscle groups. So essentially the suit is able to be much smarter than your dumb brain. And because the suit works out all of these muscles at the same exact time for four seconds on, then four seconds off, for 20 minutes straight, essentially 10 minutes of work, 10 minutes of rest. You're able to, in 20 minutes, get a full body workout versus going in and working out each of those individual muscle groups over multiple days in the gym. So any movement that you have, say squats or arm curls or oblique crunches, all of these things, you're, all of your muscles are flexing at the same time. So even though you're doing squats, every single muscle is being flexed hard all without the risk of injury, all without the compression from weights and the significant time investment of working out each of those individual muscles. Now, lastly, and you're gonna to wanna to sit down for this, the Catalyst suit costs 2,500 bucks. Not cheap, but this is also not a gimmicky ab belt. Let me show you exactly what you're getting. The Catalyst package comes with a suit, comes with the base layers, comes with a sprayer, and also comes with an impulse pack. It probably comes with a bunch of other frilly stuff. It's really well packaged and professional, but it's not an unboxing video, so put your panties back on. On the suit itself, you've got pads for your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes, your lower back, your middle back, your upper back, and on the sides, in the front of the vest, you've got your chest and your abs. On the outside of the suit, everything's really high quality. You've got high quality stitching, high quality zippers, the buckles are good. The suit adjusts everywhere you'd want it to adjust. It's really well put together. So I bought a couple extra base layers. So here's your unbagging video. Yay. It's just an undersuit. It is skin tight, makes you feel self-conscious, and it goes directly against your junk, which doesn't feel terrible, so a little silver linings. The sprayer is pretty well built. It, uh, you know, it's shiny, it pets well. You basically pump it with air and at uh, like 15, 20 times, and then it retains the pressure so that when you press down on that little thumb thing, it sprays out water out the front. The impulse pack is also pretty cool. It's pretty simple. The connectors are different, different lengths. They route through this little bungee retainer and then they clip in to each. Notice the connectors are different so that you can't screw up. The suit folds up pretty well for travel. It, kind of would take up about a third of one of those carry-ons that they, they limit you in size on the airplanes. I put in a pop can and soda can uh, and an Nalgene bottle to kind of give you a reference for size. So once you order the suit, Catalyst will send you a link so that you can go through the, the sizing and measurements and send you a specific bottoms and a specific top. So one of the kind of cool things about Catalyst is Say you're overweight and you order a suit so that you can get into a cardio state while you walk on a treadmill. Well, if you lose a bunch of weight and the suit no longer fits you, they will send you a replacement suit for free. Uh, the company told me they don't want to punish their customers for their successes, which I thought was pretty awesome. So I've got an earlier video on how I suit up and suit up quickly, so I don't want to rehash that in this review. If you're interested in how the suit goes on and how it straps up, go ahead and look for that video. Uh, it's pretty helpful. The app is pretty great. It uh, doesn't have a bunch of extra, extra things you don't need. It's really well put together. It's really clean. It's got everything included that you, that you want. All their new stuff that they add every, every week is, is up here. Uh, their intro workouts. If it's your first workout with the suit, you probably do one of these. After that, they're, they're less exciting. In strength, you've got a lot of stuff. You've got upper body specific workouts. You got lower body specific workouts. You've got racquetball, you've got basketball, you've got golf stuff, you've got core stuff, it, full body workouts. It does have everything you kind of want. In power, you've got a, a lot of things the same. You've got your upper body, lower body, full body, golf, racquetball, basketball, uh, uh, cardio is pretty great. Uh, one of the things I do now is I put it on the freestyle, which is somewhere over here. 
like I say, you can see they got a lot of a lot of different workouts. Uh, boxing is another one that's pretty fun. Uh, the 30-minute or 60-minute cardio, you can just kick them on, adjust your own uh, level of, of, of flex in the muscles, and then do your own thing. That's kind of what I've been doing with it. Recovery, I actually use cardio more for recovery now. Uh, recovery does activate the muscle but not as much as cardio and so it gets blood flow going through but it doesn't get a full flex so it, it does it does aid blood flow for recovery but mostly I use that for stretching at this point I might after my like hard workout I might run through a 15 minute recovery and then stretch out all the muscles after the workout as far as the individual workouts I'll give you an example you can go into the workout it kind of gives you a description of the workout itself and then each of the exercises in the workout, it kind of gives you a description of what those are gonna be. So it's kind of nice to be able to look and see what a workout's gonna be before you start the workout so you don't start and then five minutes in, think you're wasting your time and you start a different one. Uh, in activity, it gives you what you've done so you can kind of track your progress. You know, like I say, I've been going pretty hard. Strength is a little easier for me to go hard on than uh, on power for sure power since the there's fast movements and there's some of that it, it really wipes out my uh, cardiovascular system pretty fast so uh, I, I haven't been able to hit that quite as hard uh, and downloads any of the workouts you can download so that you have them accessible when you don't have Wi-Fi which is pretty nice uh, that would have been something that I would have been a big deal to me if you couldn't do that um, and then this is just settings, nothing too exciting there. Overall, the app is really well put together. It really matches the quality level of the suit. The quality of the app is really pretty good. How I've been using the suit for the past like probably 20 days is more like doing like a HIIT workout where uh, like for the last 10 minutes, I, I, I will hit my, you know, the 10 reps of four seconds pretty hard. And then it takes me a good 45, 60 seconds to kind of cool back down. And then I'll start up again and I'll hit the next set hard again. That's, I'm wanting to get the most gains out of my limited time in the suit. So that's kind of the way I've been hitting it. Now we're rolling into the pros and cons. The pros of the suit, it is in home and it doesn't take up space like a squat rack or a, like another home gym or a total gym or any of that other kind of stuff. It doesn't take up basically any space. You can hang it on a hanger in your closet when you're done with it. Uh, another thing is it's light and it's, it's pretty much travel friendly. So if you're on the go constantly and you spend 180 days on the road, you can take the suit with you without too much difficulty. It really does pack up pretty easily. They say it weighs three pounds. I would assume it weighs four with the sprayer bottle and that's still pretty dang light. Well, again, on the travel front, the impulse pack holds like eight to 10 workouts. So we really are talking uh, pretty travel friendly. So you can charge that thing up and go on the road and it's gonna hold eight to 10 workouts in that impulse pack battery. So the impulse pack's not that big. It, it really shows you that it's not really running a bunch of juice through your muscles. It's just doing the impulses properly to flex the muscles. Next on the list is the probably the biggest one for me is time savings. In one 30 minute workout, I can hit all the major muscle groups. And I say 30 minute workout, 10 minutes of prep, 10, 20 minutes of working out, and uh, like say five minutes of, of breakdown, right? So. When I used to work out 10 years ago, I would hit my legs first in the week because they're the hardest to get motivated for and they wipe you out the most. Then I would say hit back and then I would hit chest, shoulders and arms, not always necessarily in that order. Some weeks you would miss stuff because you just couldn't get to it or you were just too wiped. In 20 minutes, I can hit all these major muscle groups and be as sore as I did all those days of the week. And I'm not skipping muscle groups like, say my lower abs or my lower back. You don't necessarily get to those every week unless you're just hardcore, right? This is huge. It, it, it does hit all your major muscle groups and you do not forget about them. They are absolutely getting hit. Say you're doing squats in the, in the, uh, the program workout. And, but at the same time, your abs are being flexed, your lower abs are being flexed, your upper back's being flexed, your arms are being flexed, right? But you're focused on your legs so you don't think about the fact that the other things are getting worked out. Next one is uh, full muscle flex. Like the up to 90% is no joke. I think I'm well over 10 workouts at this point, right? And I am still sore 
to this day, like this is day three after my last workout, everything's still sore. Like I can't work out for another couple days. Uh, all my muscle groups are sore. It is literally, it is like I hit hard days on each of these muscle groups. It is phenomenal from that perspective. I assume that the soreness is, is somewhat correlating with the amount of muscle fibers that are being uh, rebuilt at that period of time. It, it, really, it really does hit everything pretty hard. Because you can adjust each individual muscle group, one of the great things is, is that you can uh, incorporate this into other routines. Say, say one week you end up being able to hit the gym for legs day. Now you can dial down the legs on the suit, hit the rest of the muscle groups, and also say put those down at 50% or 40% and still get blood flow for aid and recovery on those legs, say later in the week. The suit's great for people who are out of shape or maybe just have never been to the gym before. Sometimes it's super intimidating. In fact, it's, it's always super intimidating to get back into the gym or just to go to the gym for the first time. You know, you talk about doing, say, squats and without a trainer, you know, is your back posture good? You know, are your weight on your heels instead of your toes? Like a lot of these things people don't know. And what's great about the suit is the trainers, all these things are body weight exercises that you do in these in these training sessions with the increase in the muscle flex intensity, right? So you don't have to worry about as much, say, your your back not being in a proper posture as you're doing your squat. There's there's no concern about injuring your joints. There's no concern about slipping a disc as you're doing a squat. Very, very, very little chance of, of, of injury if you're using the suit the way it was properly designed to be used. And elderly can use this suit. They can regain fast twitch muscle fibers. They can maintain strength as you get older. That was actually one of the huge things to me was being able to uh, think about the suit as something that I can use progressively as I get older and still be able to maintain my strength, my fast twitch muscle fibers, uh, all these things as I get older and my kids are you know, still wanting to wrestle and I'm in my 50s. Uh, and no, mid 40s is not elderly you Zoomers. Your generation has a dumb name. One that I've kind of already hit is no joint impact, no little to no risk of injury if you use the suit properly, like bad form doesn't equal injury, which is kind of huge, right? Now moving on to the cons, and the first one is huge, like huge. It's gonna stop 99% of people from trying to suit out, and that is price. The suit costs uh, 2,500 bucks, and you have, to, you have to pay up front for either a one year, two year, or three year subscription. So the one year subscription is $49.99 a month. So I think that uh, roughly 560. The two year subscription is $39.99 a month. I don't know what that adds up to be. And the $29.99 a month is the three year subscription. And that ends up being, I think, just under 1100 bucks. So that's a pretty big chunk of change up front. And if you also don't have an iPad, now you have to add an, a cost of an iPad into that. Uh, a lot of us parents have iPads already because you know kids watch Bluey on the iPad. That wasn't a cost for me up front, but it's an added cost for sure if you don't have one already. They are coming out with an iPhone app in the next two or three months, I believe. Uh, at least that's in their rotation schedule of, of being released. They are working on it currently, so that could be a you know a, a, a savings of some sort. If you're completely non-Apple and you don't have iPads or iPhones, uh, I don't know when they're going to come up with the Android uh, Android app. Uh, I, I don't believe it's currently in development. Now, as far as price goes, you know, there's lots of ways to come up with extra funds. We all have extra organs. We don't need two of everything, right? Uh, your, your dog's stupid haircut costs 50 bucks a month and he just shits on your carpet. So get off your budgeting high horse and... Now the iPad is another huge con. It's, it's bulky. I don't know how many people have iPads or how many people would use them outside of once they got them for the suit. If you have kids, it totally makes sense. If you don't have kids, I don't know how much you would use an iPad outside of, say, watching movies on it or doing something like that. Now, taking it portability-wise, I don't see using the suit on the fly with the iPad in a backpack unless you're doing a recovery routine, which, which kind of just increases blood flow through the muscles and you're doing stretching, which would probably be in your house or if you're doing cardio, which flexes your muscles for a moment, uh, once a second. So if you were to go on a hike and then use the cardio setting on, you know, I could see using it for that. But I don't know how that works with the iPad inside of a backpack with stuff, you know, in the backpack, maybe a water bladder, you know, touching the screen and, and activating it and stopping your program or, or, or messing it up or whatever. I don't know if that's 
really the use case for the suit or the way it was intended to be used. But with an iPhone app, that stuff becomes more reasonable. Next con would be suit up time. Now kind of getting into nitpicky stuff, but I'm wanting to roll through all the cons I could think of. You know, with, with how time effective the suit is, it does take a bit of time to get uh, the suit wetted down. Uh, I do speed that up by jumping in the shower with the undersuit on and then just lightly spraying the pads uh, if, as I show you in my suit up video. Getting out of the suit at the end, which again, this is all just nitpicky stuff. It's probably the suit up time and the taking the suit off time is probably less time than it takes you to get on gym clothes and run to the gym. Another con is the suit can be somewhat painful if you don't adjust it properly. Uh, I talk about this in the suiting up video. If, if you forget to do the shoulder straps, right, and, and your chest, if you rotate your chest and the chest pad comes off, it will be painful. I mean, not like ridiculously painful, but like it's kind of almost like a slight electrocution in that spot, right? So if you don't have the suit adjusted properly, it will let you know it will be painful at that point in time. Now the suit does not fully replace working out in the gym. If you're wanting to increase your squats, if you're wanting to increase, you know, usable muscle, it, it will not, you can't just use the suit for a year and then go in and then all of a sudden you realize you can squat 100 pounds more than you squatted a year ago after not hitting squats for a year. I, I don't think that it builds the muscle fibers that way. Now, when used in conjunction, it will speed up that process of making those gains as far as I understand it, right? I will be going through all those studies. I will be going through those use cases. I will be testing the suit on athletes and weightlifters and doing different things, trying to give you those use cases with some real world application to see how the suit would roll into your particular use case. Now into the conclusion portion, the suit is not a magic bullet. It's it's not, uh, you can't just turn it on, sit on the couch, oh, and yeah. do a workout yeah, with the iPad it. sitting on your coffee table, right? The suit's still gonna correlate with the amount of effort you put into it. So if you go through and the suit's dialed down to probably like 50% of your mind muscle control, right? Like you, it's really easy to do the movements, they're flexing, they're doing all that kind of stuff. And you go through the workouts, you're not gonna get the same gains that say I'm getting where I'm sitting at like 90% of mind muscle control. Like I sit right below the threshold of where my muscles kind of almost, I can't, I can't move my arms, I can't move my legs, right? I stay below that as like a safe level below it, like 90%. And so I'm getting a, a really hard flex out of the muscles and so I feel like I'm getting more gains than somebody who would use the suit a little bit easier. But that doesn't mean that you have to do huge hard workouts right off the bat. If you, if you wanna get your gains, start, start low, push yourself to the limit of where you're kind of comfortable, and then build your muscle over time. Raise the levels so that you're starting to build your muscle, build your mind muscle control, being able to move your arms, move your legs, uh, focus on individual muscle groups to do what you want them to do. For me, the time savings and the pump I get out of the suit is well worth the price. I pay three times as much for the suit, honestly, uh, Honest to God, I would I would absolutely pay three times as much right now. What the suit does for me is it replaces the gym. It replaces two to three hours at the gym, four to five once you take in tr uh, trip time, transport time to and from the gym. And it works out all my muscle groups in, in one point in time versus five days over the course of a week. Also, since it's hitting all your muscle groups at the same time, I don't have muscle spasm worries like I would. Like say my my back was still sore from last week and now I gotta hit legs. Like really I'm, I'm chancing muscle spasms or I'm chancing something else because my my back is still fatigued and in rebuild, right? Or if, if my shoulder's sore and I go to lift chest, right? Like I'm, I'm chancing shoulder injury at that point in time because I'm trying to hit my chest. So I don't really get a great chest workout in. With the suit, I'm working out everything in that one day and I'm dealing with recovery across a five day period. So now I work out, if you tried to work out every five days, you're constantly risking, at least for me, I was constantly risking muscle spasm, risking injury, bad posture because something was sore, all these kind of things. I don't have to worry about any of that with the suit. So I know I joked earlier about the cost of the suit. For me, I'm a numbers guy, I'm data driven. I had to justify the entire expense of the suit to myself as a as something that would replace a gym membership if I was being able to be motivated to go five days a week. My gym membership was 50 bucks a month. My gym is six miles away from my house. You know, 12 miles at 60 cents a mile, which is what IRS allows you for vehicle wear and tear and fuel. With that, that's $7.20 a round trip multiply that by five days a week, you're talking $36 a week. When you incorporate that into a 30 
31 day period, you're gonna be at about $200 a month in, in overall expense for that gym, which then also incorporates into $2,400 a year, right? That's a huge expense that I don't think people think of when they think of a gym membership. And that does not include the five hours a week of time investment if there's people not on the equipment when I get to the gym that I wanna use that day. The suit actually makes me think of a piece of fitness equipment when I was growing up called the Nordic Track. It was a piece of equipment that simulated cross-country skiing and they used to brag in their ads that like 75% of people with that had purchased a Nordic Track still use used it once a week, one year after purchase, which I thought was pretty insane. It also brings to mind all the fitness equipment that we've all purchased over the years that ends up being a, a clothes rack for our clothes or for our kids to play on. So I think that people that purchase the suit, I think that the people that will use it weekly, one year, two years, three years, is gonna be far and away multiples, orders of magnitude higher than any other piece of fitness equipment that you can think of. If you can't get motivated to use this suit 20 minutes in a week, then your problem is not fitness equipment. The problem is not getting the proper fitness equipment to get you motivated. There's another problem there at that point. If this king, if you can't do this thing for 20 minutes, then there's really no other piece of fitness equipment that's gonna get you motivated at that point. Now, who do I think the suit applies to at, at this point in my use, right? I think the suit really applies to everybody, but I, from my perspective and my use to date, it applies to people exactly like me, people whose time is so precious. I mean, as you get older, you start to understand that time is really the most valuable commodity that you have. Obviously money is important, but when I started thinking about the fact that if I was able to get motivated and if I could allocate 20 hours a month to going to the gym, right? Five hours a week. If I could replace that time with two hours in the suit, you know, 30 minutes a week, that frees up 18 hours of time. Depreciation schedule is 200 bucks a month for over a couple years. That's $10 an hour. I'd pay $10 an hour all the time to have more time with my kids, more times to do the things that I love. If, if I'm making 50 bucks an hour, that's four hours that I have to work versus 20 hours in the gym, right? And, and, and if you love going to the gym, if you already go to the gym five days a week, the suit, I don't think at this point in time probably makes a ton of sense to you unless you want to incorporate it into your routine. I think it does help. I think it would for sure uh, aid your entire workout routine, but I don't think it necessarily, if I had to pick the people that it's going to impact their lives the most, it's people like me who don't have time that still want to be in shape, still want to be able to play with their kids, still want to be, still want to look good, still be able to fit into your clothes, right? Still want to get the cardio workout, but don't have the time to go do a bunch of other stuff. So the link to the Catalyst website is in the description. Uh, please like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends. I, th I think this suit has application for everybody. I think that if you continue to watch the videos, I hope that I can show you that that's the case. Uh, next video coming up, I've had some requests to go get some video of the net project I did locally. Also, Tree Weaves did some cool stuff there, so I'm gonna show you some of that too. And I will catch you next time.